Hey, what's going on everyone? Dinky Dana here, and today I'm going to be doing a fairly unique review, still video game related, but also a little bit outside of the box, and literally I'm going to be unboxing this. I just got it in the mail today, and it's from a company called Quest End, and what they're doing is they're making a D&D based whiskey line. And this one here is the Rogue. I missed the first release, which was called, called basically like Paladin. And what they're doing is they're going to go through 16 different characters. They're going to have Rogues, Sorcerers, Paladins, all the different types of D&D characters that you can have. And they're going to make a unique whiskey for each one. I'm guessing once a year, maybe twice a year, something like that. So I just got this one in the mail. And what's even cooler about it is just recently... At my local convention, I met Matthew Lillard. So he was the he was the villain in Five Nights at Freddy's, which is amazing. So I had him sign some things there. And then also, I heard about his whiskey line. And I have a website where I review a bunch of whiskeys already. So I've already reviewed 300 plus whiskeys. So I'm very excited to see this like mix match of D&D &D nerdy stuff paired with whiskey. So let's get into this. We're going to open it up. And even from the from the start, it's got all this cool like maps on the uh, on the box, which is really awesome. It's going to be 98 proof. So they have some labels on the side. So really cool packaging. Pretty impressed with that. I wasn't sure what to expect. I was kind of bummed that I missed the first release because I didn't quite know about it. I learned about it right before I went to go meet him. And it would have been really cool if I had this bottle to get signed. But I may, I'll may i probably put a little snippet here of this stuff that I got signed. I got a Five Nights at Freddy's poster. I got um, also a Five Nights at Freddy's like pizza box that I got at my movie theater when I went to see the movie. Just really cool that he was at the convention signing stuff. Super nice guy. So it's always great to support people like that. And he's kind of promoting this kind of stuff that he's big into all the the nerd kind of stuff like the the D, D, the video games all of that and if you know his movies he's done a, gun, a bunch of great movies as well so just a cool project to support but let's get this thing opened and we'll see what's inside of here oh man this is sweet okay so here we go i guess i could have kind of done a different video looking down on it but right from the start it says assemble your party inside here there's a little uh and that's kind of cool. Like a clear sheet. Um, nice. So it's basically Dear Discerning Adventurer. The, se the second step of the journey is oftentimes the most crucial and meaningful. So it's kind of cool. It's just a message explaining what the whiskey is. Saying that this is the second release of it. And then um, it, it's got a whole thing. I could put a screenshot of this in the video kind of neat they actually have a full story it says crafted from small batch kentucky and india or indiana aged bourbons rogue has been blended to pair with the uh, eponymous character of the release <laughs> vanilla richness i'm not even going to read all these because i don't want to know all the flavors beforehand i will be doing an official review of this whiskey on my website called secretwhiskeysociety.com so i'll link to that you can click that in the description check out the review what i thought of the whiskey the next thing here is they got this cool book. Nice. They actually have like the story for the rogue. It's pretty neat. I mean, there's a lot of production that went into this. Wow. Nice. I may actually add some additional footage in here that will go through some of this in more detail. Because it's kind of cool. I'm going to have to go through and read all of this and see what it's all about. <laughs> Look at this. They have like another map in there. And re just recently, my friends and I just started a new campaign. Um, what's it called? Dra uh, Odyssey of the Dragon Lord. So we're playing through that. And just when you look at maps like these, when you're playing D&D, &D, when you first start, it's always awesome because you don't know what anything is. And then by the end, you have stories tied to all of it. So pretty neat. Oh, uh, they got... <laughs> so this must be the character, you the white spider. And they have all the stats and kind of information on what this character is. So, nice. The next thing we got, it's got two different compartments in here. Well, no, I guess it's just one. Here's what I'm looking at now. 
I can feel the bottle in there, so let's see how it looks. Be careful to pull this thing out of here. There it is. Trying to make sure I don't mess up the box. Okay. Wow. That is actually a very cool looking bottle of whiskey. Wow. I'm quite impressed with how that bottle looks. A blend of straight bourbons, 49.15 ABV, 98.3 proof. It's cool on the side. They have HP. <laughs> That's cool. And then on the back, it's also got a map on there. Nice. And then it's got Rogue on the side. So if, if, if eventually when this whole series comes out, you could line them all up and have all the classes. So very cool. I mean, I'm impressed with the packaging for sure. All right, so let's crack this thing open and uh, see what it tastes like. We'll just jump right into it. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's pour ourselves a glass. Oh, it smells pretty good. Reminds me of, um, it's like buttered sugar toast, like buttered brown sugar, sugar toast. It smells really good. Nice caramel on it. Okay, I dig it. I like it. I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, you come in and it's, you know, a gaming-related whiskey project. I was hoping it would be good. I dig it. I'll have to take this over and uh, give my friends a sample. I think, yeah, one of the characters is a rogue, so that'll be awesome. But, yeah. Oh, it smells pretty nice. It's got, like, like that... The finish is making my mouth water. Makes me want to drink some more. But I will be putting up a full review of this on my other website, secretwhiskeysociety.com. So I'll have that up when this video goes live. Oh, it smells really good. I'm actually surprised. I, I didn't know what to expect. Oh, yeah, I could drink a good bit of that. All right, well, if you're a fan of whiskey, a fan of D&D, &D, a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, a fan of any of the fantasy fantasy style games, this is a project that you should look into. It's a really cool idea. It's cool to just get see, see these things getting tied together. And everybody knows if you're playing some D&D, &D, it's always fun to have friends over, get people together. You know, a lot of the times there might be drinks or food, you know, just celebrating, uh, drinking wine, drinking ales out of D&D &D mugs that my, my cousin made me some of those. So we used to do that. We used to do the wine. Um, but it's just really cool to see a project like this come together and it's cool to support it. So definitely check out the website. I'll have all the links down in the description. I'll link over to my official review of the whiskey. So if you're interested, check that out. And until next time, cheers.